So we just got this composting toilet and I've read over this direction manual about three or four times. Thought about it a lot. And I think I'm gonna put this toilet where this toilet is now. I just wanna be perfectly clear and honest. I've never taken this RV apart. I've never done construction inside this RV. I'm going at this with all intentions of this being easy because the manual tells me it's very easy. So I pulled this little piece off. It's literally just held on by some silicone, which is kind of curious. And I see the water pipes and tubes and the plumbing is running right here through a hole here. So uh, I'm going to inspect the other side. It's a good start. So I struggled with this piece quite a bit and apparently it was screwed in. <laughs> so I think I might have to have Monaco fix this little piece for us, but I did get access to what I needed. So you're looking at the bedroom and I'm in the bathroom and now I can put my exhaust pipe right through here. So I've located a hole down here that goes into the wet bay of the RV. There's power, I can see power and light, which means I can get there from the outside. So I left the flashlight up here and I can see my light. Um, I can reach something, maybe. Whew, it's tight. It's pretty tight. So I'm gonna test, make sure I actually have power here. This is what I can see from the top. I got my little multimeter here to tell me. And yes, 12 volts, perfect. We have power. The power of the pooper. So now that I've located my power, I'm going to test the fan here. It's built into this toilet, a little 12 volt fan. Yes, yes. Success, first success. So I'm trying to feel for my vent hose that I put through earlier. Holy crap. Oh, I think I'm gonna need a headlamp. Suit up. <laughs> oh, God. Ugh. How does it smell under there? Oh yeah, it's great. It's great, my head is right by the crap <laughs> hole. If it looks uncomfortable, <laughs> it is. Oh, there might be an easy way, and I'm sure you'll tell me all about how stupid I am in the comments. This is fun. Well, it looks like this will come off, but I don't think I have the right tools to get it. Come on, baby, come on, baby. Mm. Oh, yep. Come on. Ugh. Give me a bit of a hard time here, guys. Okay, it's coming. Yep. Oh, oh God, I got about an inch of it. I wish you could see what was happening in here. Alright, I got a good amount now. Ugh. It's getting close. Oh, yeah. Huh. Alright. Huh. <laughs> it's a lot of work. So my tubing here isn't quite long enough. The toilet comes with this tube and this thing, so you can do that and vent it directly outside. So, went to the hardware store, picked up some PVC pipe, one quarter inch, one and a quarter inch, and I'm gonna have to do that. And I could drop straight down and screw through the back, or this plastic here, but then when we remove the toilet, if the next owner doesn't want it, then I'm gonna have a big ugly hole here. The pipe here will actually vent outside this way, which is the very back of the coach, keeping any smells out. Got my starter hole right here. Trace all the way around this bad boy. I'm gonna try to drill a hole a little bit smaller. That way if I mess up, hopefully I won't be screwed. Just barely made it above this pipe here. So it's a good thing I drilled a smaller hole. Hey, we're getting close. So I'm gonna retrace my hole so it's a little bit higher. That way I don't get in any trouble with this other pipe. Hey, look. After inspecting the other end, it's not quite 
going at the angle I needed. I need a tiny bit more angle, so I'm gonna cut a little more. Um, you probably should be wearing goggles for this, but I don't have any, because I don't really have any tools on board. This is not a safety anything. This is not an instructional video. This is just me figuring it out, showing you how I did it. Maybe it'll help you, so don't judge me. I think that angle feels better. Last step out here is I'm gonna put some, a little bit of silicone in here because I don't have proper pipe gluing stuff and I didn't wanna buy that. So that way no water can get in because it's pointing down. No bugs can get in because I'll put a little net here and uh, we should be good. So I'm not gonna come back under here with the camera, it's a pain in the ass. So in here I'm just taking this PVC pipe and I'm going to push this on here. So we have a nice solid fit here, pretty firm. I'm just gonna keep an eye on it for the first couple weeks as we're driving and, and uh, I might add some zip ties to kind of hold it down or something. I haven't decided yet, but I'm keeping it loose for now. Ooh, I think it's time to officially move the toilet. Next step. Basic half inch speed wrench. Oof, I almost forgot. I gotta shut up the water. That would have been a big mistake. Probably gonna drip on me, so I got my towel. It's fresh water though, so don't freak out, guys. It's gonna spew water everywhere, I think. There we go. All disconnected. This part might be a little gross. big. So because we're working with bacteria, I'm going to go ahead and throw on some gloves. Safety first. Just be careful not to drop the screws down the hole. <laughs> That would not be good. Well, I assume this would just pop right off. It doesn't seem like that's the case. It must be silicone down. I'm a little nervous about taking this off. I don't know if it's a good idea. Next step, I've got this plug, three inch, to plug this drain hole, stinky drain hole. So that's nice and tight. I don't want that popping off. Putting this wood down to mount the toilet to the wood, that way I don't have to screw through four pieces of tile and I'm assuming the guy who buys this coach after us probably doesn't want a composting toilet. So this way I can install my toilet and yet keep all the fixtures and all the tiles safe for the next owner so they can put the old toilet back in. I guess this Dremel's made to do this. I don't really know, but uh, seems to be working. <laughs> We're gonna try this tool now. See what happens. <laughs> I really think glasses are important here because there's literally flying hot shards of plywood. I put back on the little broken off piece of the one that broke the first time. So I'm gonna try to finish this off. I feel like I'm so close. <laughs> Easy as pie, right? That's one beautiful circle. And now the moment of truth. Ta-da! That looks terrible. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect. So when installing, they recommend you turn the brackets like this, put them down that way so they're not sticking out and looking all ugly. Also, you can tilt the, the toilet overall just a tiny bit to give you more room if you need more room. Uh, also, you have to keep a nice amount of space here. I think it's five inches. 
so that way you can lift the lid and take it off so you can get to the fun stuff. Installing the fuse because I'm going to 12 amp, 12 volt, 12 volt, 12 volt. And of course I don't have any of the uh, wing nut thingies so I'm just gonna be using some tape. A few feet of this wire they gave from the factory is definitely not enough. So uh, I went to the hardware store and of course they don't have any wire that looks like this so they gave me speaker wire. They said it worked the same. It's a little bit thicker but uh, it'll hold a current I'm sure. So here's where we stand now. I found power earlier but it was connected to a switch so now I'm looking for power that's constant. I think my water pump I think my water pump's gonna have constant power, so I'm gonna check that. Also, I accidentally pulled out some wires that control these knobs up here, so I'm gonna try to have to put those back. I'll, I'll get the little camera out and see if I can show you kind of how tight it is in here, and uh, maybe you'll be able to see kind of what we're working with back here. This is crazy annoying. Everything's on a switch. The water pump, of course. I don't know why I thought that earlier. There's no power, literally no power coming in that's constant that I can find. Is it on? Nope. Fan's not working? Nope. How about now? Nope. Damn, I can't find... Nope. It's live down there. I hate this crap. So here's the deal. I had to scrap all the wiring I did the other day and we're gonna connect directly to the battery. So, starting here, fuse on the positive, run the wire all the way back to the toilet, 50 feet of wire, nip this thing in the bud and get done. Just a friendly reminder, make sure your power is disconnected before touching the battery stuff, okay? Fuse on the positive side. If I had the proper tools, I would install one of these, but I don't. In case you're wondering, I did go buy some proper wire caps. I've secured them with some duct tape and we are nice and secure here. When you're running your wire, make sure it's not close to anything hot like this exhaust pipe. And there's actually a bunch of holders up here for a wire that's previously running. So I'm going to try and weasel this thing through all the way back to the back of the coach uh, in other clips. It should help keep it off the ground and keep it safe. Got my wire pulled all the way through here. Gonna attach it to this old wire which I ran the other day and pull it up. Speaker wire. Toilet band wire. Connect. Woohoo! Power! All that work. And that's the climax. That's what you get. That's the payoff. Anyway, we're almost done now. I hope you're enjoying this. A quick cleaning. A little silicone. Trim board. The powered vent is installed on this side. For our application, we're gonna have to move it over here. Cocoa core. If you repeat monster coconut fiber is dry, add a small amount of water. When not in use, the lid of the toilet should be closed. Five days, three trips to the hardware store, and many hours of my time. The installation was a success. Not a great one, but a good one. We'll be back in a month to let you know exactly how it is, how it works, and how it smells.